If you're looking at buying or already own an electric vehicle, you know that your car either came with a charger that was most likely 110 volt or it didn't come with a charger at all and you're looking for what to purchase. Now the kicker of owning an electric vehicle is traveling to your friend's house or going to different areas and you figure out that at some point you have to take that charger you have at home and remember to put it in the trunk or purchase an extra charger that's always in the trunk for emergencies or while you're traveling. We're gonna walk you through one of the intelligent chargers that we picked up and show you why it might be a good one to have either at home or as your travel companion. Stay tuned. First, I wanna let you know that we're starting out with a 2020 Tesla Model S that we're gonna be using as our test subject for a lot of the numbers. Your car may vary in the numbers of miles per hour it will charge, but it's gonna be in general close to this. Most of the chargers you're looking at are gonna come with the J1772 handle, so if you have a Tesla, you're gonna need your adapter so it'll work with your car. The big things that you're gonna to need to look at when looking for a charger is, is it IP67 rated or is it water resistant? Can you charge outside? That's going to be important, especially while you're traveling because you're not always going to be able to get into a garage. Second, an intelligent charger is going to be able to recognize the difference between level one, which is going to be 110 or 120 volt, and level two, which is 220 to 40 volt. That's gonna make a big difference in how many miles per hour you can charge. So especially when traveling, if you're on a level one charger, you're in the four mile per hour range with this car. That's not a lot. In 10 hours, that's 40 miles. In level two charging with this at 32 amps, we're looking at closer to 22 miles per hour. So we can make up a lot of ground in 10 hours. That's 220 miles that's perfect for traveling. So having one charger that can charge at both rates, either to give you a nice slow charge just because you have the opportunity, or two, to pick up and gain all the mileage back that you might have drove the next day is huge. So what we're gonna go over here is a must-start intelligent charger that meets a lot of the things that you're gonna need on the road. So let's pick up this unit and dive right into it. So this is the brains of the Mustart charger and we'll have a link in the description for this. This is going to tell you everything that's right, wrong or indifferent with the charger. You have a green light saying that it has power, a red light saying that it is charging at this current moment. And this is an orange light that's gonna tell you that you have a fault. On here it's gonna tell you your amperage, the amount of kilowatt hours you've used since it's been plugged in. So that will reset when you unplug it. Uh, we don't unplug these NEMA 1450s quite often, but if you do plug it in and unplug it, it'll tell you how many kilowatt hours you used, the time it's been plugged in, how many amps are running through it, how many kilowatt hours you're currently using, along with the voltage and the temperature out. So very cool system that they have here in this IP67 rated package. But really what's a little bit cooler is the fact that you can switch this over to a level one with this nice way of interchanging your plugs. You don't have an adapter that's at the end. You physically have a different cable that plugs in with a connection that's very secure. Now just make sure to make that connection when nothing is plugged in and you'll be very safe. Attached to the other end of our electronics is 20 foot of cable. That is nice cable. This is not a real stiff cable. And this 20 feet is gonna allow us to be out in a parking lot or away from our power source a little bit. We again have the J1772 with our Tesla adapter here, consistently charging. This stuff works great for traveling and or home use. The Mustart charger also comes with a travel bag. So you can keep all of this together, put it in your trunk, and you're able to have something nice and collected. What are the big things that this thing checks off the box? Again, IP67 rated, so it's available to charge outside in the rain. I like the fact that it's level one and level two, so no matter where I'm at, I can plug this in, have no worries, it's gonna automatically adapt to the voltages, and it's gonna work with my car. The J1772 will work with most of the EV cars, except Tesla, which Tesla sends an adapter with it, so you're okay. 
I like the fact that everything here tells you electronically what's going on on an LCD screen along with the large LED lights that tell you if you have a fault or if you're charging. That's perfect. The big thing here that I think is checking the box for me traveling is level one and level two. I don't have to carry a ton of adapters with me and I can leave my standard Tesla charger at home so I'm not unplugging and plugging that in or forgetting it because that's kind of a big deal when you go to your buddy's house and you're like, hey, I need to charge. Now this NEMA 1450 that comes with this is the same thing that you'll find at a 50 amp RV park. So if you're a camper, you can plug your car in, no issue, charge everything up, or borrow the site electric port next to you, which is absolutely awesome. I don't see a lot of Teslas while I'm camping, but I think it's something that will probably catch on because that's free fuel for all the campers out there. They're not that easy to tow behind an RV, so I kind of understand that, but I think as the EV car world evolves, you're gonna see more and more of that. Something like this is not super cheap. They're all made in China at this point, and the biggest issue you're gonna come across is the quality of components used in the lesser expensive models. We've gone over some different models from a $125 charger up to what this one is close to 379, and the difference in the quality of the cabling and also the connections to the unit is absolutely huge. So you want to spend a little bit extra well, this isn't quite as expensive as what the Tesla charger would be, or I've even read that Ford's new charger that they have coming out is going to be five or $699. So this is half that cost, but it's still up there. You get what you pay for when you're looking at EV chargers, and I think that's important. So if you're out looking for one of these chargers, this is definitely something to look at. There's a ton of information on the screen. It'll give you way more information than what you really need, but you can just tell that stuff is built the way it should be, and there is a 100% satisfaction guarantee when you purchase it. We've been using it for a while and tested it out. I think it's one that I would recommend, so I'll put my reputation on it that it's not gonna be junk. Check that out in the description. As always, we appreciate your time. If you would give us a like in this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Have a great day.